Hello there, it's Glenn Fisher. We are now moving on with building our own online business. Um, in the previous videos, which if you've not seen yet, um, make sure you sign up to uh, my email, uh, the your own online business email, because um, I'm going to be providing you with an archive of all the different videos uh, I've done on that. Um, but hopefully you're up to date. And hopefully you've had a chance to see how we uh, created a WordPress site, which you can see here. We created Glenn is Cool, and I showed you how to actually set that site up. Then I showed you how to uh, open a Twitter account and link your Twitter account there. You can see that's linked to mine. Uh, I showed you how to put different widgets in your sidebar here. So we've got the comment widget there. And below here, we've got a tag cloud. And I also showed you how to insert a sign up so that you can um, put an email against here um, for people to sign up. Now, we've done all those things, and hopefully by now you're putting as much content on your website as possible. Uh, that's what it's really all about, is just getting that content on there, building up to, to a useful site about whatever you've decided um, to base your niche on. Now, what I want to do today is take a step that will ultimately allow you to bring in more customers. Now, I'm working on something uh, at the moment that will hopefully um, actually show you really how to get a lot more customers. That, for me, is the one thing that people never talk about uh, when it comes to starting your own online business. Uh, they might give you the tips and various strategies for setting something up, uh, tell you how you can make all this money, but what they're missing is the fact that to do this, you need customers. It's, it's a simple uh, business case of business. Um, without customers, you can have the greatest website in the world, you can have the greatest products in the world, but unless people are there to actually see it and buy it, then it's no good. So I'm working on something um, that will help you get a lot more customers. But what I want to do today, um, and I'm, I'm not sure how long this will take because I, I need to download something, uh, and, but I want to do it in front of you to show how um, easy it is to do, providing it is easy, I'm hoping. Um, and what this will do is allow you to create a free report um, that will enable people uh, to come to your website, see that they can get hold of this free report, and uh, sign up uh, to receive it. So at the moment, as you can see, we've got the sign up here, but there's no um, there's no incentive to sign up at the moment. Now I can't give you um, the free report to sign people up, I don't know what your niche is, but whatever it is, if you could come up with five to maybe 10 um, top tips, maybe a page on each, it doesn't need to be a big report, uh, 10 pages with like five best ways to do something in your niche, uh, maybe let's say you're doing all about fixing tractors and you give five top tips for uh, keeping your tractor fixed, whatever it is, it works across the board. Um, so you need to come up with that content now a lot of other people will pretend that they can give you the content they can't that's up to you and ultimately um, if you uh, keep getting handouts like that you know that you're never going to move forward so I need you to do that bit but what I want to do and I think from what speaking to the people I speak to uh, my the readers of my shortcut bulletin uh, and shortcut confidential and those people who have already signed up to receive my your own online business email what they seem to want are the the nitty-gritty actual pages that you go to uh, programs that you download steps that you take to get this stuff set up and that's what I want to do today I want to show you how you can actually um, produce a PDF report um, for free uh, it doesn't cost any money and then in the next video I'll show you how you can set that up for a download once someone signs up for your email we'll take them two things in, in separate things so what we're going to do um, we're going to navigate away from the site today we don't want our site today what we want is your internet and you're going to need um, Microsoft Word at some point um, but we'll come back to that so in Google just search for Primo PD, oops, PDF right you see that P-R-I-M-O PDF, right? If you search for that, and the magic of Google already comes up, um, 
click on the top one there, primopdf.com. You can go straight there if you want. And what this will do, this little program will plug into your Microsoft Word and rather than printing uh, to a printer, any document that you want to, you can print to this, to the Primo P PDF program, and it will produce a PDF. You can then upload that PDF onto WordPress uh, and let people download it off the internet. We won't worry about that bit today. All I want to show you is how this Primo PDF works. So if you go on this uh, PrimoPDF.com, download for free. You don't need to worry about all this fancy paying 14 day trial stuff. All we need is literally the basics of creating a PDF. And this is the bit where I'm not sure how long it's going to take. I'm hoping it will be quick. Um, I will do an edit if it's not. But I want to try and go through the actual steps so you can see that it is possible to do this very quickly and very easily. Right, so we've come to this page. And I'm hoping that if we press download now, Your download will begin in a moment, it says. Is it going to do it? Come on. Come on, we're back. Oh, to help download file, yep. Just need to enable the download if your computer is set in a certain security setting. So much stuff these days that. Um, trying to break into your computer and ruin it. Here we go. So, in Supremo International, run that. And it's saying three minutes. Four minutes, three minutes. Right, so what I'll do, I will literally pause this video now and I will be back with you in one minute's time. Okay, and by the magic of technology, that time has passed and we are now here uh, we run that and it's asked you to install it in the language of your choice and here we go Primo PDF setup wizard just click next agree to the terms and conditions I accept explore I do not want to install StumbleUpon. Don't do that right now. That's It's just an upsell that they're trying to do. Fair play to them. But you don't need to worry about that. So just click Next. That will do all that for you. Do a load of technical wizardry. And hopefully we should now automatically install that in Word. Now just while that's doing that, um, what I've done, oh, it's not letting me do it. Oh, let's just put you. We can close that web page down. We don't need that anymore. So, right, it'll just ask you to do that stuff. Um, you going at, um, com. Don't need to put the real address in there at this point. And so there we go, it's finished. Now, what happens now is that should hopefully, I've just realized that something might go wrong, but we'll see. There is your exit page, it's just going, you've installed it, that's fine, you can close that down, we don't need to do that now. Now what I just want to double check, and I'm just going to race ahead here, just to check. Oh, it's all right, it's there. Right, so in your free report, which I've just been writing while I was writing there, Glenn is cool, free report, 10 reasons why Glenn is cool. Uh, I can't quite come up with that one. Um, at the end of your free report, just another quick tick, always thank people for reading and always direct them back to your website. Remember, if, if they're being passed this report from somewhere else, or they've downloaded it, gone away, forgotten about your site, uh, and then pick it up again and have a read. They want to remember where they can go to get more information. So always give a call to action at the end of anything like this, whether you're sending out an email, um, a text, a tweet, uh, or anything like that. 
try and always think is there a, is there an opportunity to put a call to action there and at the end of your free report there certainly is one and that's to get back to your website so um so that's your free report let's imagine that's 10 pages of interesting information about your niche and all you have to do to create a um, PDF version of that um, you could all you could always do a image of this by the way on the front cover give it a little front cover start it up spend a bit of time make it look nice but all you have to do is go to in word as normal go to print and then where it says printer rather than going to an actual printer it will now give you the option of primo uh, primo PDF now if you do that and then press OK you get taken if my memory serves me correctly to another um, option you can save time get new features no let's not worry about that it's just updating stuff this should take you to this screen which it does and you can see here that you can create a ebook medium sized files print things prepress um, we don't need to we just want a small suitable for on screen viewing if you wanted it to be printed off you could change it to an ebook but you can play around with this and just have a have a, a try now document properties um, you can put in the title of things there so we'll put Glenn is cool report and what have you you can fill all that in yourself very simple and then PDF security now this is interesting because you can put a password on it if you want so shall we try and put a password on of um, We'll put just Glenn is cool one and do that. Now, the reason you can do that is that you can stop people. If there was a particularly valuable report, um, you could stop people from uh, opening it and passing it on and sharing it in forums and that. Personally, with a sign up report like this, I'd be tempted to let it um, be passed around as much as possible. Um, so, save as. Uh, ask when creating PDF which we're going to do and post process open the PDF and then Chris create PDF save it um, and we'll just save it in my documents there as Glenn is call report and save that and that should be pretty much done now if I go to oh there we go Oh, perfect. It comes up at the end. So put in your password of Glenn is cool one. As you can see, that's what if you gave someone this PDF, then they'd get to this screen when they try to open it. You can do that. And if you look at that, it's created my single page into a PDF, which you can put onto thing, do everything you can do in a PDF. Um, you can send that to anyone you want. Um, and we're going to look at that in the next video. But I hope you can see how it's very easy to create your own free report that people can download. Um, a lot of people, certainly that I've come across, always think these kind of things take too much effort. It's really not. Everything is there online, available for free. Um, hopefully now you can go to that primo uh, pdf.com, download uh, the program onto your uh, Microsoft Word and uh, you can start making your own uh, PDFs now as we're doing it for a free report that's what I recommend you do today but if you wanted that's how you could create uh, a trading strategy um, a home business guide uh, a, a, a gambling uh, betting strategy Anything like that you could create in a PDF format and you could actually go on to sell that uh, and provide that not cost you a penny to produce that. All you need is your knowledge to create that report and then you can create a, a, a downloadable PDF that you can later sell or give away. Now what we're going to look at next time is how to get that onto your website, uh, how to get it so people who visit your website see that they can download it uh, and we'll go from there. So I hope you found that useful. Um, I hope you're finding this series useful and I hope you continue to tune in and see what we're up to next. Thanks very much.